state television company Westerner Media represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Immigration tends to decrease in Van Western Armenia, Spotify to launch in Armenia over the next few days. Erdogan seeks to create a great Turan, Gurgenian opposing Lavrov. Microsoft adds Armenian to its translator service. Sides of Western Armenia, the ancient city of Haran. Today's ethnographer Yervan Lalayan's Remembrance Day. Unique interpretation of Zulu by Gomitas from offer performer Vigen Hovsepian. The Van province of Western Armenia had the largest emigration of recent years in 2011 to 2015, which continues. The city, which is the leader in the rate of emigration in the last 20 years, has lost a large part of the urban population and has received more provincial inhabitants. This tradition has continued in recent years, although the rate of emigration has been declining in recent years. 34.4% immigration rate was registered in Van until 2018 to 2019, and the immigration increased by 39.6%. Currently, Van has become the region with the most immigrants and emigration. Audio streaming and media services provider Spotify will launch in Armenia over the next few days, Variety reports. On Monday, the company unveiled plans to launch in 85 new markets, areas that represent more than 1 billion potential new listeners. The company made the announcement on Monday at its stream on event for creators and partners. The 85 new markets span Asia, Africa, Europe, Latin America and the Caribbean, in addition, Spotify now supports more than 60 languages natively after adding native support for 36 new languages. Currently, Spotify is available in 93 markets after the company officially launched in South Korea, the world's sixth largest music market on February 1st. According to Spotify, its full global music catalog will be available in each of the new markets and the entire podcast catalog will be available in the majority of them. Political scientist Sergei Gurgunyan referred to Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov's statement that Turkey does not want to create a great Turan. Ankara is simply actively developing its relations with Turkey-speaking countries. According to Lavrov, the Turkey-speaking countries that are part of the USSR and have now gained independence will not support all that. Political scientist Sergei Gurgunyan responded to Lavrov's statement on Russia as in TV channel. Lavrov is a wonderful man and a diplomat. If Lavrov were the president of Turkey, I would believe all his words. But as far as I know, the president of Turkey has another last name and says completely different things. He says that the Turkish world should unite, and when I'm told I should not believe his words, I get a question. Is he chatting in an empty talker or not? Erdogan is trying to grade the Turan. In that case, why are we building relations with him? On the occasion of the International Mother Language Day, held annually on February 21, Microsoft has added nine languages to its Microsoft Translator, including the Armenian language. Microsoft Translator text translation is now available in native free languages. The company stated that nearly 7 million people around the world speak in Armenian. The province of Haran in Urfa, Western Armenia, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its conical domed houses. The conical domed houses of Haran attract attention with their features. Houses plastered with clay on the outside and egg white on the inside, soil straw and a mixture of rose oil amaze visitors with the ability to stay cool in the summer and warm in the winter. People still live in conical domed houses in the province. Each dome of these formerly built houses symbolized the financial condition of that house. Since all the people in the houses were related, the houses were built interconnected from the inside. All the houses are protected in the historical protected area and are registered by the State Protection Council. Yervan Alexander Lalayan, Armenian ethnographer, folklore collector and archaeologist. In 1885, he graduated from the Narcissian School in Tbilisi and worked in Akhaltsha, Akhaltkalaki and Alessandropol as a teacher. In 1894, after graduating from the Department of Social Sciences of the University of Geneva, he received a degree of Candidate of Social Sciences and worked for six months with the Mkhitaryans of Vienna. He taught at the Shushi Dyson School returning to Transcaucasus in 1895 to 1897. Combining here with the best scientific forces of the time, he started to create the ethnographic magazine. He organized the ethnographic publishing company on November 21, 1900 in Tbilisi and the Armenian Ethnographic Society in 1906. The museum organized by the company was moved from Tbilisi to Yerevan in 1921 by Lalayan's efforts. Lalayan became the first head of the museum. His Javak, Varanda, Sisyan, Ghapan, Ganzak province, Borchalu province, Vasburagan, Kohtan province, Vayotsor are regularly published in ethnographic magazine Nakhijavan or Nakhjavan Police District, Zangezur, 
Nor Bayezid Province or Gerar Kunik, works in numerous articles. Lalayan has collected and published extremely valuable folklore materials, written thousands of tales, fables, and proverbs. Extensive excavations were carried out in Sharur Daralagyaz, Nakhijewan, Nor Bayezid Provinces, Shresh Hill, Nishvartashen villages of Nuhi Province, Elar. In order to present the Armenian material culture to the general public, Lalayan published three photo albums dedicated to the monuments of Vayot Stor, Vaspurakan, and New Bayezid, with explanations in Armenian, Russian, and French, as collected and published protocols. Offer performer Vigenhov Sepian, who presents Armenian folk songs in a new way, regularly refers to popular Spanish works, presented Comitas song Zulu with an interesting interpretation. As reported by Armand Press, the video of the song is already on the internet. Zulu has finally arrived. I thank my talented friends Artur Armen Menatakanyan, Norayv Gapoyan, Hakob Ordakyan, Gurgen Ebejian, who spared no effort to make their greatest contribution to the recording of the song, the result of which you can listen in every part of the song, he wrote on his official Facebook page. Began of Sepian, again thanking all the supporters who have made a great contribution to the creation of the song video. The musician admitted that Zulu is one of the longest awaited works he has worked on for more than a year. Good watch, I hope you like it, of Sepian concluded. Now I present you Zulu by Komitas. The full version of the song is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.